Bradley Knight. I'm 20, almost 21 years old. I have two kids. I have a boy and a girl. Junior, which is my oldest, he's five years old. And my daughter's name is Melanie, she's two. My first child, it was very weird. I was actually, at the time, my family had went back to England to live, and I had went with them. I, uh, I was 15 years old. I used to call my girlfriend almost every day, every other day, when, and we used to speak, and she didn't want to tell me. Actually, the way I found out was by her cousin. Her cousin had told me over the phone, I couldn't believe it. So she was already around seven months or eight months pregnant when I found out she was pregnant. I went crazy when I found out she was pregnant. I didn't know what to do. My parents didn't want to let me come. I was saying I was too young. What I ended up doing was, I was begging my parents almost every day. Uh, my grandparents for support to at least come out here to the states to to actually see the baby. Hello, Junior. <laughs> oh, it was crazy. I don't know. It was a feeling that I can't even describe. I was just when I saw him, I felt like breaking down in tears. I could break down in tears right now, actually. It was just something different, something that I wanted, but I didn't know what to do with it. And it was just, I don't know. I just don't know how to explain it. It just was really good. But like I said, I, I was too young to do anything about it. And I just had to go day by day and from the, see what happened, you know? And this is where I am today. right now, um, even though I have two jobs, I still feel like I'm struggling, I still feel like I'm living check to check, there's always something that has to be paid, and when there's not, when I actually have a chance to put a hundred bucks away or something, day goes by, and I end up needing that money to either go buy groceries or something goes wrong with my car which is the only car I have and I need to go to work so I have to fix it straight away or just anything some money that I owe to credit cards or or other type of bills it just you think you can save but you can't it's so hard all your money goes from check to check I even I even try to do little things on the side here and there I try to sell things, I try to buy things and sell them for a little bit more. Even though I do that, I still feel like I'm in the same position all the time. Struggling, check to check. There's days that I wake up, hear the alarm clock, and I look at it and I just say, you know, I just say, fuck this, I don't want to go to work today. I, I'm tired, I don't want to do it. I just want to stay here and lay in bed, be lazy, have a day off, not do nothing. But then I think about my kids, and like I said, I think about the bills that come along with it. I think about them eating, having a nice plate of food when they come home from school. You need to be there for that kid. Without, without, without you there, that's pretty much letting the kid become a different person. I believe if the dad is around, that a kid can grow up better. He'll be loved more. He'll feel more of that family warmth. And I believe that his life or, or her life will be better in the future with both parents around and just step up, you know.
A little bit late, but you can do it. Now I'm just on the way to work. Another day.